Hello, my name's Ken Knight. I'm from Princess Brokerage International. We're here today on a lovely Princess 49 called Blue Canary. We finally got some sun out here in the UK. We're on Southampton water. We're gonna give you a full walkthrough of the boat. But first of all, I think what we'll do is we'll uh, put her through her paces. So here we are back on the berth in Port Hamble. Hopefully enjoyed our little blast out on the uh, Southampton water there. And uh, yeah, beautiful day for it, but it gives you a feel for what this boat can do underway. Good 30 knot performer, very, very composed, very flat and stable. And we didn't even have the, the sea keeper engaged today, which would only further enhance the sea keeping capability of the boat. She's always been serviced by our princess service department. She's recently gone back in the water, serviced early at the beginning of the year. So she's ready to go for the season. So here we are sitting at the helm station, as we come to expect, great ergonomic seats that are, you know, adjustable fore and aft. We've got a co-pilot seat next to us that you don't you know you can pass between so it's easy for for people to get on and off the seats without disturbing the person on the helm ips powered boat so we've got the joystick so yeah very flattering in terms of driving whether you're experienced or maybe you're stepping in at this level you can get up to speed almost in an afternoon with instruction and parking this boat this one's got the twin garmin plotters we've got our bow thruster we've got our searchlight and then we've got the optional extra Garmin uh, standalone display, but yeah, to be honest, with these uh, multifunction displays, you've got all the information you need. We've got our AIS plumbed into that, we've got our radar, we can set the depth on the corners, so you've got all the information you need there. Got a VHF here, we've got our loud hailer speaker, uh, and then we've got a fridge just leaning forward so you don't get too parched if you're on the helm. And then this boat's been fitted with the Bimini, so we've got a Bimini here that can be deployed if we're at anchor and we want some shading from the sun. Uh, we're getting there, we're starting to get towards summer, so maybe that'll be useful soon. But lots of space. We've got our aft table, um, which is uh, either have it fully deployed or fold out, so you can have it as a grab rail with cup holders. And then we've got our wet bar here on the port side. We've got a barbecue, we've got our sink, tap, and then down below, we've got some further storage and bin. So yeah, very well thought out teak lay deck on this boat which is an option um, which is nice just gives it a real sense of quality up here and then we've got a couple of fusion speakers so we can have some entertainment so here we are coming down to the aft deck on uh, blue canary really comfortable space like other Princess 49s that we've been on board. It's generous, lots of elbow space. This boat's got a few unusual features. Very discerning owner that built this boat, it's had a number of boats before. So we've got side gates on this boat, both port and starboard. So yeah, for certain applications can be really handy. Maybe a town key that you're tying up to somewhere a little bit more unfamiliar when you're visiting a new area or a high fuel pontoon. Just a really handy option to have. We've got our high-low platform on this boat, so controls for that. We've got our cockpit shower. We've got shore power on the port side. But yeah, most of all, it's just a lovely place to be on this aft deck. And to be honest, this is one of the benefits of having a flybridge boat. It's just the different zones and areas it gives you. Maybe you've got a family, you've got the flybridge, you can enjoy driving from up there. You've got social space up there. Maybe someone else wants a quieter space to be, you can be on the aft deck. And then we've also got the fore deck. So on this boat, we've got fore deck cushions. The sun beds aren't fitted today, but they come with the boat. So it just gives you three different areas you can enjoy and spend time. We've also got our luff track up here, so obviously you can enclose this area with canvas. Just gives you flexibility how you use the boat year round. Mm -hmm. 
So here we are just stepping into the interior of Blue Canary. Princess 49, I think we're quite familiar with this boat now, but light and bright. This boat's been built in the most desirable satin walnut uh, joinery. So we've got this lovely contrast and the galley has been offset with this lovely light uh, worktop. We've got the below counter fridge on this. The advantage of that gives you a lot more workspace and light coming into the boat as well. And uh, I mentioned this owner is quite discerning. They've built the boat with an upgraded four burner hob here. We've got microwave down below and dishwasher below that again. And then on the starboard side, we've got additional refrigeration. We've got a below counter fridge. So yeah, you're not gonna have a, a run out of refrigeration on this boat. The boat's got AC. So throughout the boat, we've got air conditioning. It's reverse cycle, so you can be nice and comfortable whilst you're on board. But yeah, during the winter months, you've got, uh, got heating. And then you've also got demisters on this boat as well. So if you're using the boat during winter months, you can easily get rid of that uh, mist on the windscreen. And as we step up really into the saloon here, it's lovely. Light and bright, comfortable space, very modern upholstery, this light gray upholstery. And we've also got this really nice uh, table, high-low table. So it's an electrically operated table, be either in high position or low position. I think it was borrowed off the uh, larger F55. It's set out as a coffee table at the moment, but we can trip a button, rotate it round, and then you've got a table which is double the size for dining round. Sitting at the helm station here, we've got lots of adjustment as usual. Rake adjustment on the wheel here, center weighted princess logo, nice touches. Um, twin Garmin screens, we've got our throttle controls as well as joystick, very simplistic layout, bow thruster, and then this is our Seakeeper control screen here as well. Everything falls to hand very easily. I mentioned on this boat, we've got the demisters as well. So it's just a nice feature for UK application. Um, and then I think what we'll do is we'll head down below and look at the accommodation. So here we are just coming down to the lower accommodation on the 49. It's worth noting just what it feels like this area. On some boats, you, you know, you feel like you're going down a hole to the lower accommodation. It's not the case on this boat. You've got these deep, wide steps. There's a shallow rake. You've got really nice, solid handrail. Lots of curves in the joinery, but most of all, you've got this big cutout here. So it bathes this area in light. So you're really greeted with a lobby area rather than a narrow passageway down to the accommodation. It's a standard configuration this boat, it's three cabins, so we've got a bunk cabin on the starboard side that gives you two berths, they're wide enough and deep enough to take adults, you've got a good hanging locker, obviously it's own air conditioning as you get in all the cabins down here, got a VIP cabin forward, so this has got the optional upgrade to have a scissor berth, just a nice option, gives you flexibility, have it set as two uh, singles or join them together to have a double, lovely grey match joinery uh, throughout the boat, light and bright, lots of hanging space, storage underneath as well. And then we've got this Jack and Jill heads compartment here as well. So we can use this as a day heads, it's access for the third cabin, or it's direct access for the VIP cabin as well. Big shower compartment as we come to expect, lots of elbow space. You know, every area of this boat is generous. But what I think I'd really like to show you on this boat, there's an absolute triumph is the master cabin. So let's go and take a look. So here we are coming into the master cabin. I'm very fortunate with the number of princesses that I get to spend time on. I just never get bored of these master cabins. Just such a lovely place to spend time. Very comfortable, light and bright, you know, no compromise with styling over function here. Got these very soft mirrors, all very smoked here. It's all very subtle, the detailing that's in this cabin. So on the starboard side, we've got a nice vanity unit built into the joinery there. And as we come up, Port side here, lovely ensuite heads compartment. Got this pocketed door, which is really neat, just maximizes the space on board. Really big shower compartment. And then interestingly, another touch the owners thought about with this boat is about comfort. So both the heads compartments are fitted with heated towel rails, which is yeah, a really great addition for 
UK, we don't have quite the weather you get in the meds, so towel, drying towels can take a little bit longer. Behind the door here, we've got storage. So some, some boats are built with a washing machine. This one's got additional storage. It's a seasoned owner. You may appreciate you can never have too much storage. And also the owner, when he built this boat, really wants to enjoy the time on board. So this one's not got a TV fitted on the bulkhead here. It's always something that could be retrofitted or you could enjoy your time on board away from uh, the hassles and day-to-day -day strain of the news. We've been super fortunate with the weather today. It's great to have some sun finally come out. But most of all, it's been fun. It's been really fun taking Blue Canary out in the water to show you what this boat can really do. And hopefully you can see, you know, with the IPS power on this boat, it pulls it through the water. It's very, very composed. You know, even when we went hard over at a full speed turn, just very flat and composed. I come back to that word composed. And we didn't even have the Jaro Seakeeper engaged. So if you're going out more challenging weather or if you get caught out if you're a longer trip and you're trying to get back home or you're going cross channel that sea keeper is going to hold some real value to you so just to recap this boat's a one owner from new boat she's always been kept locally here in port hamble she's been fully prepared for the season by our princess service department the engines have been serviced the ips pods have been serviced the generators been serviced the anti fouls been renewed the anodes have been changed so yeah she really is ready to go for the season for a new owner to enjoy i suppose it just strikes me that the owner who built this has just really thought about the comfort on board from that high low table that's not a stand on this boat the pocketed mattress springs the wi-fi that's been fitted the sideboarding gates and even like a uv filter on the fresh water that comes into the boat just all thought out as to, to bringing some extra comfort to the owner whilst they're spending their time on board if you'd like to find out more details on this boat please do look at our website which is princess.co.uk you'll see the 3d tour of the boat which you can zoom in and just interrogate certain areas you want to look at in more detail full specification and obviously most importantly the price but look thank you for joining me today it's been a pleasure